This is the power of it. Don't you settle for less. If you just give your best, then you will have success. Hello, kings and queens of first grade. This is Miss Seb, and I'm here to talk with you about time. On our other video, we did time, but we were looking at clocks to the hour. On this video, we will be looking at clocks and telling time to the half hour. So, dear kings and queens, you will need these materials to learn with Lola today. You're going to need a whiteboard and a dry erase marker and eraser. And, of course, if you don't have a whiteboard, you can use a piece of paper. And if you don't have a marker, you can definitely use a pencil or a crayon to complete the activity. So again, this is Lola tells time to the half hour. Remember Lola? Today, she is going to learn to tell and write the time to the half hour. So our objective today is that we are going to learn to tell and write the time to the half hour. Can we say hi to Lola? Hi, Lola. She says hello. Nice to see you again. So everybody, remember on our last video when we saw a clock that looked like this? We see the blue hand is our hour hand. Our blue hand, sorry, is our minute hand. The red hand is our hour hand. You already know how to tell time to the hour. Today, we are going to learn how to tell time to the half hour. Remember, just like Ms. Sab said earlier, the blue hand is the minute hand. Remember, those minute marks on the edge of the clock, those little marks are called the minute marks. Each of those marks stand for one minute that has passed. When the minute hand has gone halfway across, around the clock, it rests on the 6. So when it starts at the 12, it's o'clock. And when it's going to go all the way around, halfway around the clock, and sit on the 6. When we see the minute hand pointing to the 6, we know that half an hour has passed. It is called half past the hour. There are 60 minutes in an hour. And half of 60 is 30. If we would count each minute mark on the side of the clock, we would see that there are 30 minutes between the 12 and the 6. When 30 minutes has passed, we call that half an hour. As the minute hand moves around the clock, the hour hand moves too. So again, remember, the blue hand is the minute hand, and the short hand is the hour hand. It doesn't move as quickly as the minute hand, though. It takes 12 hours for the hour hand to move all the way around the clock once. In one hour, the minute hand only moves from one number to the next. That means in an half an hour, it only moves halfway to the next number. This clock is showing half past 12. The hour hand used to be pointing to the 1 when it was 1 o'clock, but it has moved halfway to the 2. Look carefully at this hour hand. It is showing half past what? So I'll give you some thinking time. It is half past one. What time is this clock showing? Look at where the minute hand is, friends. And look at where the hour hand is, kings and queens. It is half past what time? Hmm. Remember, I'm giving you some thinking time. It is half past Two, if you'd said that, kiss those brains, kings and queens. Good job. Here's another one. What time is the clock showing? Look at the minute hand pointing to the six. That means it's half past. And that hour hand is in between two numbers. So it is half past what? Half past seven 
or half past eight? Hmm. Let's think. All right, let's see. I think it's half past seven. If you said that, kiss those brains. Good job, kings and queens. What time is the clock showing now? Look at the minute hand. It is pointing to the six, so that means it's half past. Half past what? Hmm. Again, I'm going to give you some thinking time. Looks like that hour hand is in between the 10 and the 11. So that means it's half past 10 o'clock. If you said half past 10 o'clock, give yourself a high five. Good job. Here's another clock. Another way to say the time when it is half past the hour is to say the digital time. So remember, there are two kinds of clocks. One clock is a digital clock. Another kind of clock is the analog. And what we're looking at now is the analog. First, we need to look at the hour hand. It is half past what hour? It is half past three. The minute hand shows us that 30 minutes have passed since 3 o'clock. It is 30 minutes past 3 o'clock, so that means it is 3.30. And that's how we would write it if we were writing it in a digital clock. Remember, digital clocks are on our iPads, our TVs, our cars. All right, here's another clock. What time do you think this says? Tell a partner your guess, or you can tell a grown-up. Give you some thinking time. It is 4.30. If you said 4.30, give yourself one Thor clap. Ready? Boom! I love those Thor claps. What time do you think this says? 30. Great job, friends. You guys are getting so much better at telling time. It makes me so happy. You guys are showing that global greatness. You're getting the hang of it. All right, Lola. You are doing great, and so are the rest of the kings and queens in first grade. Let's practice writing the digital time. What time is it on that clock? What time do you think it says? Write it on your whiteboard. Again, I'll give you some time. Great job, friends. It is 1.30. How did it go? How did it look? Did your time look like mine? I sure hope so. Let's try another one. Erase your whiteboard. What time does it say on the clock? What time do you think this says? 5.30. Great job, first grade. Let's try another one. Erase your whiteboards. Let's look at the clock. Look at the hour hand that's in between the 9 and the 10. Let's look at the minute hand that's pointing at the six. Keep going. It is 9.30. Again, kings and queens, great way of showing that greatness. Let's try another one. Erase your whiteboards. This clock shows 2.30. Good job. Let's try another one. Keep going. Let's keep it up. Let's keep practicing. Erase your whiteboard. Look at the hour hand that is in between the 10 and the 11. That minute hand that's pointing to the 6. What time is it? Keep going. It is 10.30. Great job, friends. Let's try another one. Erase your whiteboards. Remember, the more we practice, the better we get. What time is it? It is 6.30. Ooh, that was a little tricky. Good job. All right, kings and queens, this is the last one. Erase your whiteboards. Let's look at the clock. 
It is 12.30. Terrific. I'm so happy. Yay. Now you are ready to tell and write the time to the half hour with your teacher. Thanks for learning with Lola. Now it's time for your exit ticket. Are you ready? So what I want you to do is send a picture to your teacher or you can text your teacher a picture and show them the time that shows 3.30. So draw a clock the best you can. Show all that global greatness that I know that you have inside of you. Draw a clock and text a picture or you can even put it on our Google Classroom, a picture that shows the time for 3.30. I got a lot of your exit tickets on the last video and it made me super excited. So I cannot wait to see all of the greatness that you show me with these exit tickets. All right, talk to you soon.